Welcome back to Felsbrunn on Farming Simulator 19 for episode 9 with me, Mr. Sealy P.
now as you've probably already seen um, I have been fairly busy um, I've done a contract on field hang on let me just get this open shall we I've done a contract on field 12 for barley um, I've done a contract on field 6 that was for corn and I'm currently doing a contract on field 10 which is sugar beet that's taken quite a while and I'm taking it up and putting it in the train at railroad silo east because that's got to be sold at train station mill so rather than going backwards and forwards backwards and forwards there I'm loading it into the train that said the train's nearly full and I still haven't finished field 10 yet so I'm probably going to have to do that in a couple of loads now here's the other thing um, we have been kind of contracted go with it we've been contracted by the local district government kind of thing um, and you know it's the modern era and there are lots of farms going under you know and it, that's kind of unfortunately that's the nature of the beast a lot of farms are uh, going bankrupt and so the local government is is working on a scheme and this scheme why is that working that should be oh uh, I can't work on it for them can I because I don't own it uh, right, I'll come back and do that later on. Um, in that, what they're doing is farms that are at risk of kind of going under. The local government, the local district government, is buying up plots of their land for them. So then what they're doing is they're subcontracting out work to people like myself. Um, actually, let's turn the engine off. To either, in the case of this field here, field 30, um, they wanted me to come and cut the grass, so I came and cut all the grass with the potential that this will then get ploughed out and they're hoping then to sell that on. So the farmer gets the money from selling uh, selling his field through the local government. But here's the weird thing, and I think there's some kind of some kind of local government money laundering thing going on. It's all a bit dodgy. Um, that for me to work on it, I have to buy the land off of them. Then when I've worked on it, sell it back. There's, there's definitely something not right. There's something going on. Anyway, this field, field 30, um, I cut all the grass, um, I windrowed it, bailed it, wrapped it, and I've been selling all the bales off that, you've, as you've already seen. I've done alright out of that. I don't know how my finances are at the moment, because it's all, all over the place, really. I've been making money on the contracts, I've been making money on selling these silage bales, but then another job came up, uh, a local council, local government contract, on field uh, 17, I think it was. So we've bought that plot of land and we're working on that at the moment. That's got soybean in it, or it might be canola. I think it might be soybean. But my harvester has stopped because it's full and I've run out of vehicles. <laughs> I need another tractor, really, because um, I'm ferrying these silage bales. I've just finished over on my own field, on field 15, putting the second fertiliser state on. So our field here, 19 and 20, is still growing. That's fully fertilised. Field 15, down over the ridge, down by the... Uh, well, I keep saying coast, but it's more of an estuary, isn't it? Down by the estuary. Um, that's now got two fertilising states on it, so I can leave the sunflower there to just grow. Um, and we're contracting. So, yeah, field 17, which is that one just there, we're working on at the moment. Field 10 has got the contract on, and the sugar beet harvest is going hell for leather on that. Um, I'm going to sell these last two silage bales. And we're going to kind of carry on. I mean... What I'm going to do is around the side of field 17 that we're doing the, the government contract for, I'm going to go around the edge of that and cut the grass and bale it. But every field I can do that on, I'm making money on silage bales. Uh, what I'm going to save up for is a Chrome Big M. Because I think if I'm going to be doing this more regularly, going around and doing a lot of these grass areas around fields as well, and I've already got the, um, the baler wrapper. Now the baler wrapper, I said in the last episode, in my head I thought it was a lot more expensive. And uh, I think it was Adrian. I think it was Adrian that messaged me. Um, and said it was. On FS17 it was something like 135000 or something like that. So I, I knew in my head it was expensive. But it's only 76 in this one. So not knocking it. Um, so I've got the baler wrapper. And I might as well use it. The other thing I probably need to invest in is one of these. The Ursus T127. Because at the moment I've got it leased. And to be fair, if I sell a bale that more than covers the lease so I might just keep it on a long term lease at the moment um, so like I say I don't know how well I'm doing financially at the moment because I've got money borrowed from the bank and I had 160 grand already borrowed from the bank then I borrowed some more 
Um, so I don't really know where I stand with my own money yet. So what I probably need to do is finish doing field um, 17, finish the Sugar Peak contract on field 10, then pay off my loan down to 160,000 and see where I'm sitting, see how much money I've made, and then kind of go from there really. Um, so it's it's kind of seriously multitasking. There's all sorts of stuff going on. But like I say, yeah, field 15 down there, you can see the light green, the crops are growing. Um, I say estuary, I suppose it's a... Yeah, it would be an estuary, wouldn't it, if it's a river? It's not a fjord. All right, all right, blimey. Impatient. So, yeah, so I can't do field 30, although I had bought that field to do cut the grass, do the baling, and get the grass off of it as, as silage bales. Um, I then sold that back, and somebody's got to be making some money somewhere out of this, haven't they? There's got to be something going on. They're buying off the farmer subcontracting to me I have to buy it to use it then sell it back to them yeah I don't know so anyway I need to go and get some trailers now so I guess it's just a case of being versatile really isn't it turning your hand to anything doing contracts when you need to doing work on your own fields when you need to um, cutting grass around fields if you need to you know whatever you need to do to make money at the end of the day I could just stick to one thing, but again, we'll see how it goes. So that's that's kind of how I'm going with it. You know, the whole... I'm not going to go on about it again, but, you know, the buying fields and using the stuff out of them or whatever, it's, it's, a, it's a government scheme. It's, uh, it's all above board, all approved. Don't you worry. Does this hold 5,000 odd litres, isn't it? 5,000 and something now. Five thousand five hundred fifty-one. That's the usual amount. Right, let's move that out of the way and disconnect that. What I'm going to do is go and get the mower so I can mow around the side of here, around the sides of field seventeen. I'll get this mowed, baled and wrapped, so I can get those sorted. Let's get this harvester going again, so we can carry on. Pipe in. It's a fair sized field. We'll do alright off this one. Jump out. What I need to now is go and field, field check, check field 10, because I wouldn't be surprised if the harvest is stopped again, because that seems to be filling up really quickly. We're not far off done. And I think I'm about 13,000 litres off the train being full. So once I've done that, yeah, there you go. You can see the lorry and the harvest is just a bit further up the field. So I'll get over there and we'll do that. I might as well just I say walk. We're running really, aren't we? But we kind of hit this one. A lot of the fields need harvesting. I've got quite a few harvest contracts. Although what seems odd to me is I seem to be making more on the harvest contracts on Ravenport than I do on Felsbrun, and I don't know whether it's just the Felsbrun fields are more of a a bit a selection of medium-sized fields because I know on, Fe on Ravenport some of them are huge, aren't they? Um, it could be a bit of that, I suppose. This one should I should do all right out of because it's sugar beet. You get paid more anyway because it takes longer to do the contracts. But also, I like the harvesting jobs because when you sell the crops, well, so when you sell the crops, when you deliver the crops. Generally speaking, you get that little bit of bonus on the end whereby there's extra and you get paid for the extra crop. So I don't mind doing the harvest contracts. And obviously once all the harvesting's done, then you're into fertilising again and fertilising can make you a lot of money. Mix that in with a little bit of um, a little bit of government work. I say that in bunny rabbit ears. Um, and we can do all right. That's going to be, what, 43,000 litres. So if I follow this along, that'll be another 48. Mind you, actually, no, there's no point because off he goes uh, because the train won't take it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this up to the train load the train up to full which will be 300,000 litres take that down and unload and that will be the first bit of unloading on this contract how far through are we on this contract let's have a quick look we are oh so 62% done 
uh, I think it normally gets up to about 80, doesn't it, with the harvesting and then until you start offloading. But when we look on the side here, the contracts for harvesting aren't on field 28. They're not, some of these aren't very big fields, but some are fair sized fields. Field 11's not a bad sized field. It's not a lot of money on the contracts. But these are the ones where you're going to make a load of money, but they take you a long time because it's um, sugar beet, but only a very small sugar beet harvester. Got a bit of cultivating in there. Another harvesting job there. So some of these harvesting jobs, I can use my own harvester. So there's another one at 21,000. But it's only the, it's the small sugar beet harvester, so that's going to take some time. Where's field 22? So I might take that on. Like I say, if I'm doing other things around it, um, yeah, field 22, well, it's not too bad, I suppose. But that'll make us a nice little bit of money as well. So I'm, I'm doing a mixture. I'm not just going straight in field flipping. You know, a combination of everything, work on my own fields, contracts, and every now and again a bit of government work. Um, and along with that government works, a lot of these fields, like the side of this field here, all this grass here, up here, that can all be cut. That can all be baled, wrapped and sold. So why wouldn't you? You might as well, you know. It's, it's, I know it takes a bit of time. But, oh, I, no, that road time is already on the floor. But the problem is some of these plots are incredibly expensive. So what I'm finding is on the very expensive plots of land, I do the contracts on them. The plots of land that I can afford... Um, I will kind of do the additional um, and kind of really go from there so uh, like I say I don't know how much I've made <laughs> really hopefully it'll be okay can't remember where was that when I started but we'll see now what I need to make sure as well when I unload here is I come over enough that when the trailer goes up and lifts it doesn't hit that roof so I think I'm over far enough let's unload it was catching a little bit before yeah perfect ok I shall see in a bit when I'm a bit further through with this
so I am currently bailing and wrapping the grass around my own property oh, 4,000 these um, field 17 as you've already seen I've sold the soybean off of it all the grass around it has been baled and wrapped and is waiting to be collected so while I've got the baler wrapper out I'd cut the grass around my own property so I thought I would collect that now as well then I can do all the bales I've taken on the other soybean or another soybean contract on field 22 that's about halfway complete I know I said I would sort of um, sort everything out and I will do before the end of the episode we'll work out where I'm at <laughs> we'll get there we will I promise I'm thinking you know I know the taking crops off another person's field is all a bit dubious and I know I said at the start of the episode government contracts and you know and I, I still kind of stand by that as a kind of as a narrative as a, of a way of explaining it you know it, it works I'm thinking you know whether or not my, the kind of government contract I take on is actually for grass for maintenance around the fields and field edges and sides of roads and stuff the contract I take on I have to pay for the plot of land for the use of it and all I take off of it is the grass I don't t touch the crop on it maybe that would be a bit more palatable kind of you know way of doing it I don't know I'm just trying to think if you take the crop off it you're going to make a fortune you yeah, have no problem at all making money I'm just thinking maybe doing it that way if I just do the grass I'm still going to make a load of money if I sell eight bales, I'm making 19 grand. Just well, 19, nearly 19,500 for eight wrapped bales. So just doing the grass around fields, it's going to make me a lot of money. I have got bales all over the place. I've got them in where they all are at the moment, actually, because they are dotted around all over the place. And I have to keep putting them in places where they won't roll away either, <laughs> because they do have a tendency to disappear. Another one there, got a number there here. See, so yeah, I might do that. I mean, I don't know. The contract work is, is keeping me going. Proper contracts, the in-game contracts. Especially if you take on ones like, you know, like I say, while I'm doing this, the sugar beet harvest isn't too bad and I'm having to keep going back to the harvester because at the moment I've got a full trailer again and I need to set the harvester off. So I just thought I'd stop and uh, kind of explain what I was doing. But anyway, um, I'll get back over to that. I'll get these done and I'll get these wrapped and then I'll get all the wrapped bales over and sold. Hopefully I can do all of that before it gets dark. That would be nice, wouldn't it? This baler wrapper needs cleaning. I don't own a jet wash yet, I need to get one. Um, and it'll probably need a bit of maintenance as well, I would imagine.
So, in the process of clearing up the bales around my property, it would appear that it may not be ready to harvest, but my soybean has moved into its last growth stage. No, it's ready to harvest. Ha <laughs> ha, right, okay. So we can get some more soybean off the ground and then we can repurpose our own field. Nice, I'll just get the harvester over. That was just, uh, there we go, the corner of field 18. I'll bring that over, I can get that going. That might need a bit of a uh, bit of a service actually before I start. Um, brilliant, well, that's good news. And then we'll see whether the field needs ploughing or liming or anything like that. So, let's get this lot sold. I think I've got another two just over there by the shed, uh, the shed shelter, whatever you call it. Then all the ones around field 17, so I can do a bit of multitasking again. So I'll have um, sugar beet harvest on the go, my own field 19 and 20 being harvested with my own harvester, and collecting these bales. Quite a productive and profitable episode. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I do like the little Fiat tractor, although it's incredibly slow, because it only goes at 15 miles an hour. 150 horsepower is brilliant, but it takes ages to get anywhere, so that's why I'm thinking maybe... Well, uh, if I can get the, the Chrome Big M, that's going to speed up doing all of this stuff, because I can do the grass cutting and swathing in one hit, and then just go around with the baler wrapper then, and it will do a much bigger area as well, um, in one go. I'll probably keep the side mower anyway because there are going to be fields that have got smaller strips and I don't want, um, if you take the big Chrome M it will register that you don't own the field next to it and it might not cut the grass and that kind of thing so we'll see but there are a couple of areas actually on this map um, down here this plot here is all grass um, there's a plot up here where is it? oh that's part of field 8 that's going to be part of field 6, isn't it? Yeah, which costs an absolute fortune. But there are some grass areas knocking about um, that we might be able to get our hands on. The area around... Yeah, field 5, that's got a load of grass around it. So, um, yeah, so what I can do is look at getting the areas themselves and then um, just doing the grass rather than, you know, ripping the crop out of the ground. See, down here, I don't know, is that a hill? It's quite expensive for all that, but yeah, we'll see. There's there's a little bit about I can uh, yeah we can make a bit of money on that. Cotton's the crop I'm making money on on Raven uh, Ravenport Ravencroft Ravenport, um, and I've got some soybean in the ground. I'm doing silage bales, and here is making me a lot of money. The contracting on both is doing you know big chunk of the work so what I'll do if I put up just here I'll grab the harvester take that over to my own field and get that going right okay does need a bit of repair work though, I think
and so this is where we stand uh, fields 19 and 20 my own fields the combined field um, we have finished we've got 23,750 litres of soybean the best price is still at Port South East although the, the price is dropping rather rapidly uh, field 17 we got all the bales silage bales up and sold we've sold the field back um, and we've paid off the loan back down to 160,000 so we're sitting on 441,000 at the moment the sugar beet harvest is finished on field 22 um, I made about 9,000 extra oh that's a good point actually I haven't completed the contract have I uh, 21,202 so collect on that there are some other contracts available at the moment but for the moment we are sitting on 20, uh, 462,406 I'm going to go and sell this and then we'll know what we're at I mean as it stands at the moment I'm good for my next purchase I think I did lease the front mower um, the Laylee with the modded one um, simply because it made it made life a lot easier and quicker to do the mowing um, with two mowers rather than just the side mower but uh, that's gone back now I've decided to use the fence to get down to the uh, support southeast because it was um, southeast, isn't it? It's southwest. I'm sure it's southeast. Um, yeah, of course it is. Port northwest and port southeast uh, because it's quicker. Uh, the, let's be honest, the fit is quite slow. It's got a big canal. Uh, very profitable day I know I've said that already um, but I've had to put a few hours in as you probably already know if you're new to the channel you probably don't know but if you are new to, uh, if you're not new to the channel I normally play in real time um, I have had people ask me why I don't play times five or whatever I just I've always got into the habit of playing in real time don't know why just uh, just the way it is really um, so when did I start this I mean the episode was around was it lunchtime or was it even in the morning? So it's been a good few hours of work to get to this point. And I've managed to squish it all into one episode. I mean, to be fair, I could have picked any one of those jobs and just done an episode on a single harvest. Absolutely, I could have done that. There really can I think these are still both set on tip left. Well, we're going to clear 500,000, I think. It hasn't dropped that much, I don't think. Oh, I don't know, we'll see. So, tip that, and tip that. Let's see if we can get to a position we can see. There we go, cleared 500,000. Not bad, 66,731 for that harvest off my fields. So we're up to 529,000, which means the next episode new purchase we'll get something cool um anyway we've come to the end of this episode finally with all the work that, that was my intention was to get all of it done um i wasn't anticipating fields 19 and 20 being ready but they were so that was kind of additional um but the contracts i had on and all the silage bales that i had ready to go i wanted to make sure all of those were done before the end of the episode and before it got dark so it's nearly 10 past it is 10 past six just clicked over and we are done if you have enjoyed this episode, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.